Hello YouTube. I want to just check in again once again to let you all know that I'm still here. Um, I haven't been, I haven't posted in a couple of weeks. There's been a lot going on, um, of course, in Florida and everything. That's where I am in Florida. Basically, um, we're kind of like conquering down. Um, we actually made it through uh, Hurricane Helene that actually uh, hit, I guess, the pretty much the Panhandle or the Cedar Bay area of Florida. So now we're actually going through and actually getting ready to hunker down for another hurricane, which is uh, Milton, which is forecasted to currently be a category five. But by the time it actually hits the Florida coast, the west coast of Florida is supposed to actually downgrade to a category three. So right now, thank God I'm not in, a, uh, in, a, in the uh, evacuation zone. Um, the only thing that we're supposed to actually get from it, uh, for the most part, is just some of the uh, wind and um you know, some rain or what have you. Um, if you see me actually looking off a little bit, I'm just kind of looking out my window just to see, you know, what the wind is doing. But basically, um, but, uh, we're supposed to be getting like the outer bands of, for the most part, sometime late tonight going into the uh, wee hours of the morning uh, of this storm here. So I, uh, again, I, prayers and everything for the people that are down south that actually, that have to actually leave their areas and their homes and such to flee the storm. You know, I don't know. It's just something that's just, weird about these this weather this, this weather pattern that we have it's like almost every time it's like they get more and more intense and it's like they have a mind of its own you know having to you know go and just do weird things here you know so you know i don't know it's just so much things that's going on here um but like i say you know through it all god got my back and god got my family he has our area covered just like everybody else you know i'm not saying that i'm anybody any perfect or anything like that but again you know we just have to know that um, that these things happen, of course, living in the south and, of course, <clears throat> along the Gulf of Mexico and such like that. But again, I, that's pretty much what I'm actually experiencing now. Uh, um, I finally got my bathroom done and everything, so I'm happy about that. Um, so that's one good thing here. It's, I think right now it's just that I'm emotionally just drained. You know, I'm just I'm just emotionally drained with work and everything like that. It's just the fact that, I don't know, sometimes you just, it's just, you have to sometimes just ask if, if it's even worth it. You know what I mean? Um, like I say, you know, it's just the fact that I'm not the type of person that will, that's going to give up on or anything of that nature, but you know, I'm just sometimes, you know, you just have to learn how to sometimes just, you just have to sometimes just, I'm still learning, even at this day and time, I'm just learning how to give, still give everything over to God and let him deal with it, you know. Because when you're trying to deal with things and situations on your own, all you're going to do for the most part is you're just going to wear yourself out. And like I say, that's pretty much where I where I am right now. It's like, you know, do you, people sometimes, you can try your best or whatever, but it's just sometimes they just even feel like, you know, it's like they feel like it's not even good enough. So I'm learning every day. I can only do what I can and what I don't can't do. You know, then it is what it is. You can have your opinions about me or whatever the case may be. I'm going to do exactly what I am required to do. Nothing more, nothing less. I, I'm i just trying to tell you, I don't know. I just got so much on my mind. I don't know where to start. But again, you know, with this job and everything of that nature, I don't know. It's like jobs now not all jobs but just in general the, the today's management again it, it i'm gonna be real with you it just sucks it really does it sucks you got people that are actually in management positions that just don't know how to lead and basically it's like they try to point out your faults as if they don't have their any of their own and think about it again is that they want to put their work off on you you know, and, and for the most part, and I'm just like, OK, you know what? I see where this is going. I need to start applying to try to find somewhere else to go. You know, I'm always grateful to have a job that will never change because, again, you know, we need a job in order to sustain ourselves. You know, that's just the way that it is. But there's just some things that, you know, that you are required to put up with in order to grow personally. And there's just some things that you really don't have to put up with. You just choose to. But either way it goes, I just ask God, Lord, you know, lead the way. What is going on here? What lessons do I need to learn from the situation? And, um, you know, what do I need to do? You know, because I've I've been in prayer and basically, you know, praying and seeking guidance on what I need to do or what uh, move I need to make next as far as 
employments and stuff like that. And like I said, you know, I've been praying and praying and there was a position that came up available. And um, I'm trying to see here, you know, I'm going to go ahead and apply for it. Basically, it's a, you know, it's a high level admin position. It's not like I don't know admin, but basically, you know, it's a it's a good position. And basically, and I think that I'm qualified for it. I mean, like I said, I'm not going to talk myself out of something. I used to do that all the time, you know, and I'm learning every day that you're not going to meet all of the requirements of a job, but you still apply anyway, you know, and that's pretty much what I'm doing. So I think I'm going to be doing that for the most part throughout this entire week here. Basically, uh, with this storm that's approaching, our job was kind enough to let us off, basically, because um, today is Wednesday. What's the day? Today is Wednesday, October 9th, so I don't have to go back to work until the 14th, I think, or actually that actually Monday, um, whatever day that falls on. I don't know whatever day that Monday falls on. But basically, I'm going to utilize this time to the best of my advantage to start putting out resumes and, and stuff of that nature. Because one thing about it, again, is that, you know, a lot of times when you're tired, it's not it's not so much that you're physically tired. It's those spirits that you're having to deal with on the job that actually drains you. And basically, you know, it's like I'm living around a bunch of bipolar spirits, a bunch of just the spirit of stupidity, just a bunch of self-righteousness. And it's just like, really, it got to the point where I really I don't even feel comfortable. I don't even really want to talk to anyone on my job, basically. The only person I can talk to really is God and that's it. And I leave it there with him and he showed me the way to go, what have you. But it's to the point now where, you know, you try to go to management to get help. And basically they turn around and the very help that you're asking for, they try to turn the situation around to make it look like you're the problem. So I'm pretty much in that type of situation right now. And it's a bad thing when all of the ad admin support people in the office feels the same way and they're trying to look for somewhere else to go to. So I, from that standpoint, it can't just be me. So, you know, I take solace in that, that I'm not crazy, <laughs> but, you know, listening and talking to them, they would make you think that you are crazy. But, you know, I'm learning now and I've, I've already known this, but basically you really can't talk to really a lot of people in your office because basically they all, for the most part, have the same mindset. And basically I'm learning now. That And I've learned basically from my lessons of today, especially at work, that it just really is a waste of time trying to uh, talk to someone to get someone to see your side of the story. You know, it's like, you know, I'm, I'm done. I'm over it. You know, basically the only thing that I actually have that will I believe that will protect me is a good old pen and paper writing stuff down the moment that it happens, the date that it happens and such, because you, um, when that time comes. To have to document and actually explain things as to why, you know, you're making the decisions that you're making or whatever. You'll be able to have a complete list of documented uh, something in, in real time where they can actually see, you know, from what certain situations happen. And, and the thing about it, again, is that it'll be on record. And I'm all about the pen and paper. I had to use the pen and paper to save my military career. Because, again, you know, it's just the fact that you just have to work around some nasty, miserable people. And my thing about it is that I'm not a nasty person. I never have been. And I pray to God that I never will be. But again, with some people, if you hang around them long enough, you begin to develop and pick up their traits and begin to behave like them. And I refuse to let to let that be said about me. I mean, people are going to have their opinions about you regardless. There's nothing you can do about that. But there are some things that you can control, you know, and I really want to protect, you know, my reputation and stuff by having as little, uh, as little, how can I put this, communication with them as possible. Because again, once you show me who you really are, I'm going to believe that's who you are for the rest of the time that we have a working relationship. And I don't care what type of smiles or whatever you put, once you show me that particular side, that tricky side, the side that you've been trying to hide from me this whole time. See, one thing about trying to hide something, you can't keep, you can't do it forever. And especially when I prayed and I asked God, Lord, you know, don't let any type of thing slip up on me. You know, Lord, just keep me aware of what's going on. And he will do that. And one way that he does that is that he reveals and opens up so you can see what's in the heart of the people that work around you. And some of the stuff that I've seen, and it's through more than one person in leadership that happens to work in our little cute, our little area there. 
I'm like, Lord, this is disheartening. There's no way that I can grow here under that type of leadership under this environment. So, Lord, I ask you to provide a way for me to move up and out. If that's your will, you know, I, I've been praying. And like I say, and I believe, like I say, I, I don't want to be terminated or whatever the case may be. But you're not going to make a fool of me either. You're not going to disrespect me either. That part, I don't care what nobody says. You're not going to do that. So, but like I say, that's pretty much what's going on now. Um, like I say, you know, the winds and everything are calm. You know, so I'm praying, like I said, that everything does not get too out of hand. You know, so, you know, we're just going to sit here and just kind of hanker it out and just kind of, you know, chill and everything and just let this storm pass on through. Um, but like I say, I may include some highlights or what have you of whatever may happen later on, I guess, once the wind picks up a little bit, you know, but I don't know. I'm debating on that because my main thing is that usually when I hear that wind howling out there, I'm like, I'm up pacing and pacing and walking and praying throughout this house. Lord, keep this neighborhood covered, keep these houses covered, you know, that sort of thing. But um, I know uh, the effects that we're supposed to get from the storm, it's not supposed to be that bad. Even though when we first, when uh, this storm was first developed or it first was given a name, it was the projected, the projection of where it was supposed to go. It had us, my city, right in, you know, I was right in that cone of concern. But right now um, we're out of that cone as the system moves further south. So, you know, unfortunately it's bad for South Florida, not for the rest of Florida. For the, for the most part, I mean, pretty much all of Florida is gonna experience some sort of impact with the exception of the panhandle. But, you know, you know, right now we'll take what we can get. So um, I'll see you guys later, talk with you later. Right now, I'm outside here, you can see not too much going on. I wish it would just stay like this for <laughs> until the storm comes across. Uh, right now we're just getting some of the um, rain or whatever, but as the forecasters say that we're supposed to, the wind is supposed to pick up later tonight uh, and into the wee hours of the morning leading into tomorrow morning. So, um, you know, I'm just praying and, you know, that everything be okay, you know, and, that my house be okay and that you know everybody's block everybody in the city just pretty much everybody you know be all right all right check back later all right and this is after well we're still actually uh have some tropical warnings still extended until later this afternoon but this is pretty much the next day for the most part you know, a few down tree limbs or whatever the case may be, which I'm, I'll be happy just to be used to those type of things as opposed to what the other people in South Florida are facing right now. Um, got reports of every, saw a lot of damage to homes, people having to evacuate, don't even know if they're gonna have a home to go back to. You know, I really thank God that he really spared us once again. You know, these violent, these storms, it's like every year they get more and more violent and more and more frequent. You know, so I don't know. It's just so much that's going on. But, you know, I just thank God that he spared us here in my city once again. So that's pretty much all that I have. Not too much to report. And I'm grateful for that. So I'm going to go ahead and end it there.